Hello everyone, welcome back to Noteworthy ENT. Let us discuss about neck dissections in this lecture. So neck dissection is basically the surgical removal of cervical lymph nodes. And we'll discuss about all the basics of the neck dissection in this lecture. So the goal of treatment of cervical lymph node metastasis is improved survival and regional control of neck disease. So we'll see the management of neck in two headings, basically the management of N0 neck, that is when there is no cervical metastasis and N positive neck when there is presence of cervical metastasis or presence of neck nodes. So presence of neck nodes, there is basically no controversy. We have to address the neck, that is the neck has to be managed. But in management of N0 neck earlier, there was controversy whether it should be addressed or not, whether we should do a neck dissection in N0 cases or not. To answer this question, Dr. DeCruz et al. compared elective versus therapeutic neck dissection in node negative oral cancer. So elective neck dissection means when the neck was addressed along with the primary, that is at the time of primary cancer surgery itself. Whereas therapeutic neck dissection was when they waited for the presence of cervical nodal metastasis later. That, it, that is, it was not addressed at the time of primary cancer surgery. So on comparison, they concluded that overall survival and disease-free survival was better in the elective neck dissection group. So they recommended that neck dissection to be done electively in all the node negative oral cancers as well. And there is a dictum in head and neck cancer that whenever there are chances of occult nodal metastasis more than 20%, then the neck has to be managed electively. And for example, let us discuss the core head and neck cancer, that is the cancers of oral cavity, oropharynx, laryngopharynx, nasopharynx, and the larynx. In all these subsites, the chances of occult metastasis is always more than 20% barring early glottic cancers that is T1, T2 glottic cancers. So basically in all these head and neck cancers we have to manage the neck electively barring T1, T2 glottic cancers. Now how do we manage the neck? Should it be managed by radiotherapy or by surgery? Now this management is dictated by the management of the primary tumor. So if the primary tumor is managed by radiotherapy, then the neck is irradiated. And if the primary is managed by surgery, then neck dissection is done. So if radiation is done, neck is also treated by radiation. If primary tumor is treated by surgery, then the neck is also surgically treated. Now the knowledge of cervical lymphatics and the level of lymph nodes is extremely important to discuss the types and classifications of neck dissection. So I'll link the video where I've mentioned all the cervical lymph nodes. Please have a look at it if you are not familiar with the cervical lymph nodes. Now coming to the classification, neck dissection can be classified into comprehensive neck dissection and selective neck dissection. Now, comprehensive neck dissection means that removal of the neck nodes from level 1 to 5. And this is usually done in N positive neck. And there is presence of nodal metastasis. And selective neck dissection means removal of only a select group of lymph nodes. And this is usually done in N0 neck. Now, I'll quickly recap the levels of cervical lymph nodes. So level 1A is the submental lymph nodes that is between the two anterior bellies of digastric and inferiorly bounded by the hyoid bone. And level 1B is the lymph nodes in the submandibular area bounded by anteriorly by anterior belly of digastric, posteriorly by posterior belly of digastric and superiorly by the lower border of mandible. Then along the internal jugular vein, the lymph nodes are divided into level 2, 3 and 4. Now, lymph nodes from the skull base to the hyoid are level 2 lymph nodes. From hyoid to lower border of cricoid level 3. From cricoid to clavicle level 4. And 
lymph nodes in the posterior triangle are level 5 whereas the central compartment group of lymph nodes are known as level 6 group of lymph nodes and level 7 being the anterosuperior mediastinal lymph nodes. So comprehensive neck dissection when we remove levels 1 to 5. Selective neck dissection where only a select group of lymph nodes are removed. Now comprehensive neck dissection can be divided into radical neck dissection, extended radical neck dissection and modified radical neck dissection. Radical neck dissection means that removal of levels 1 to 5 along with removal of three non-lymphatic structures and these structures are spinal accessory nerve, internal jugular vein and sternocleidomastoid muscle. So along with the levels these three non-lymphatic structures are also removed. Extended radical neck dissection means that along with the radical neck dissection you have to remove some if we are removing some additional lymph nodes or we are sacrificing some other structures, some other cranial nerve, muscles or skin, then it is termed extended radical neck dissection. Then comes the modified radical neck dissection. So along with the removal of 1 to 5 level lymph nodes, we are preserving at least one non-lymphatic structure. So radical all the five groups are removed along with the three non-lymphatic structures. Extended radical when along with radical we are removing some additional structures. Modified radical when along with removal we are preserving at least one of the above mentioned three non-lymphatic structures. Now earlier radical neck dissection was the standard of care that is all the neck dissections were basically radical neck dissections but it was observed that in a lot of the cases these non-lymphatic structures were not involved so an effort was made to save these non-lymphatic structures when they were not involved and depending on what structures were preserved and removed modified radical neck dissection was divided into these three types now in type 1 spinal accessory nerve was preserved so preservation of spinal accessory nerve prevents shoulder dysfunction to the patient and IJV and sternocleidomastoid were removed along with the lymph nodes in type 2 in addition to preserving the spinal accessory nerve sternocleidomastoid was also preserved now this sternocleidomastoid was preserved as it creates a barrier between the carotid and the skin if we remove the sternocleidomastoid, the carotid artery, it directly lies against the skin. So to protect the carotid artery, it was being preserved. And type 3, when all the three non-lymphatic structures are preserved. And this is also known as functional neck dissection. Then came the concept of selective neck dissection. Now, it was observed that some level of lymph nodes were always never involved in a particular site. For example, in oral cavity cancers, level 5 is hardly ever involved. And so, in cases of N0 neck, when there are no cervical lymph nodes, it was observed that we can perform a selective neck dissection. That is, we can remove only a select group of lymph nodes. And this selection of the lymph nodes which are being removed it depends on the lymphatic drainage of the primary site again i have discussed this in detail in my cervical lymph nodes lecture so please have a look at it now there are following types of selective neck dissection first the supra omohoid neck dissection now in cases of oral cavity as i have already discussed usually the first echelon sites are level 1 2 and 3 so in supra omohoid neck dissection, we only remove these three levels of lymph nodes. Then comes the extended supra omohoid neck dissection. There is a school of thought that in tongue tumors, there are increased chances of level 4 involvement. And so, if we involve level 4 along with the supra omohoid neck dissection that is level 1 2 3 plus level 4 then it is known as 
extended supraomohoid neck dissection. Then lateral neck dissection that is removal of levels 2, 3 and 4. It is usually done when we are operating on the larynx or the pharynx. Then the posterior lateral neck dissection along with the levels 2, 3, 4 we are removing level 5 lymph nodes and the lymph nodes from the suboccipital triangle. This is usually done for skin tumors of the posterior scalp region. And finally the central compartment neck dissection that is the level 6 group of lymph nodes are removed which includes the perithyroid, delphin lymph nodes and lymph nodes in the tracheoesophageal and enterosuperior mediastinum. So basically we remove the lymph nodes from the hyoid to the sternal notch between the two carotid sheets. This is usually done for thyroid tumors. So this completes the neck dissection lecture. Please leave your feedback in the comment section below and if this video was helpful to you please support the channel by liking the video and subscribing. Thank you.